Okay, so a secure element is, uh, imagine like a black box, right? Um, it, it's, yeah. uh, it's like a black box. It's like a safe. Um, it, it, uh, has, uh, like on, on the instructions on the tin, it says I can do this, I can do that. And, uh, it's, uh, it, it's designed and built to only do, do those things and, uh, prevent any other use of the machine in any other capacity. It's designed so that if you try to open the box, it auto destroys itself and, yeah, it's designed so that you cannot read its contents. It's designed such that if you try to break it, it, it either detects it or stops working or auto destroy itself and so on. So basically it's a small box that, uh, it's usually in, inside some hardware wallets. Uh, like Ledger has one, Cold Card has a type of one and some level of key material management is delegated to the uh, secure element. And so I wanted to have something like a secure element, but I didn't want uh, to have the secure element. I wanted to avoid NDAs and I wanted to avoid having too many chips, uh, both in terms of cost and in terms of design. Ultimately, a secure element, in the case of Ledger, as I said, does the signing. In the case of a cold card, it holds the keys until you provide the right pin. And I thought I could simulate this somehow without having uh, a secure element on board by having a remote uh, entity or a federation. In this case, it's us, but it's open source and users can run their own, even on Tor. But basically, a server that, um, if you provide the right pin, it will give you uh, a AES-256 bit key, uh, which you then use to decrypt the mnemonic on your Jade. And what happens is, if you get the pin wrong, the server will delete the AES key. Jade would also delete the, the local encrypted material. And if it didn't, you would be left with, uh, you know, a piece of binary encrypted with a key that nobody has. The, the idea is that you can do this with Jade because of this remote. We call it blind oracle. Uh, with this blind oracle, because the blind oracle, without knowing anything about you, your IP or your information or the, anything about the wallet, can help you, um, you know, act like a, a remote secure element of some sort. So the blind oracle lets you achieve the security of a secure element, but it also gives you increased transparency. Is that is that correct? Yes, uh, I think it it, uh, it gets us closer to the, the ledger model. They have a secure element that does everything. In the cold card model, they have a secure element that, that holds the key and gives it back to you when you provide the right pin. We have something similar to that. We have uh, the key is actually local. It's not in a secure element for us, but it's encrypted, and the the um, the secure element has the key for us to decrypt it. And if we provide the right pin, it will uh, give us the key. If we don't, after three tentatives, it will delete the key, uh, making what we have uh, locally useless, and we have to start again from uh, from the mnemonic recovery. It was a way to achieve uh, security that's similar to device with securement, with better transparency, uh, cheaper, and less complexity, I would say, in terms of hardware, not, not in terms of software, but in terms of hardware is uh, uh, you know, less components, so by, by nature, somewhat less complex.